welcome back to my channel so as you know if you didn't watch my other video you know that i do go around my mouth because i do have some discoloration and that is with my fit me powder in golden and i'm going to put this in a lot of places where i color correct so continue watching Okay, so as you can see, I am going in with a concealer. That's my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso. Um, I do go on my perimeter of my face. You can say I basically put this everywhere. This is a full coverage routine, so I'm going all in. <music> Just to let you guys know a little disclaimer, I am not beating the crap out of my face. Like, it's going super fast. It just looks like I'm pounding my face, but I'm going as gentle as I can. And even when I'm doing my clients, I make sure I'm going gentle on them too. Because I do have a heavy hand, but y'all, yeah, I promise, I'm not beating myself up. It's, it might look like they but your girl being as gentle as possible. So, I'm going in the center of my face with LA Girl Pro Concealer Almond and it's not too light like I always say I like to have it in a good shade so this is me just placing it all over and I went back and added a little more because this is once again a full coverage routine so I want to make sure I'm getting it all in Okay, so now you'll see me going in my face with that same shade that I color corrected around my mouth with and I'll set that in all the areas where I put my concealer and then later on you'll see me going over that same powder with a setting powder by Maybelline Fit Me in the color medium deep. the contour bronze with the Juvia's Place contour palette and I'm using both shades in the dark palette I forgot the name of that one but yeah I'm using those two dark shades <music>
Maybelline. I forgot the color. I want to say it's berry. But yeah, I went in with the blush. And like I said earlier, um, later on, you were going to see me going over that same pressed powder with a setting powder just to give it a little more coverage. And I'm actually going back over that blush because, baby, you know, dealing with a lot of powders, you can lose that color. So I really want my blush to pop. Like, I probably went over my blush at least three times because sometimes you can really really lose your blush and i actually like blush when i do wear it so i'm reapplying now i'm setting the rest of my face with the maybelline fit me powder in the shade mocha it's their pressed powder and i'm putting this everywhere where i pretty much put basically everything just to make everything seem one because right now there is a lot of division in my face so i just want everything to seem seamless and well put together so i'm going in all the areas and just blending it face is pretty much done i am going into my eyes and i did use the juvia's place warriors palette for all these shades i will list it down below so just continue watching me fill in these big beautiful eyes because as y'all can tell your girl got some real pretty big full eyes and baby i have to go in on these these aren't your average eyes honey i gotta make sure this is covered okay so y'all just watch me you know pull the, all this together i promise it'll be beautiful in the end you know you got to trust the process Just to let you guys know, I am pressing it in, just patting it, just patting it in so I can get as much coverage as possible. I'm not like swiping or anything like that. I'm lightly tapping it onto my eyelid so I can get as much coverage as I possibly can.
so y'all can see me going back in on my lid color just please know that when you're doing your eyeshadow you want to go in over it as many times as possible just so you can get your desired eye look because sometimes when you're applying different eyeshadows you can lose that lid color as well like you can lose color just applying any type of dark color so you want to go in even with me going back over my dark shadow with a light brown shade that started me off for my transition color because I want it to look seamless. So guys, go back in if you have to as many times as you have to to get the eye look that you desire. Just take a second to get into this inner corner like peachy pink shade because that really is what got me and brought the look all the way together so i love that i incorporated that in my inner corner also i did my lashes eyeliner and curled my hair back up all over again because baby i am natural and my hair at the top is stuffed out and it was curling up and we don't want that but i did go off camera and pull myself together just a little bit. So you see me a little snatch when I come back. But this is the final result. Y'all keep watching.